Here we go. So, welcome everybody. It's the 30 day challenge. Gosh, I missed the theme song badly. I haven't had a chance to download it so I can play it for you. We are recording. Thanks, uh, Mob Rule. Thanks for reminding me. And, uh, yeah, there's a show and a half going on just over there. It's uh, pretty fantastic. I'll, uh, if, I can, if I'm game enough, I'll, um, I'll, I'll turn around and show you guys because uh, the view from up here is quite spectacular. I'm something on almost uh, 60 stories high here, uh, which is quite extraordinary. So, uh, Apple Store, Hugh? Why would I be going to the Apple Store? Gosh, you think I'd be going to the Apple Store? Goodness gracious. Yeah, do you think I'd be going to the Apple Store to buy something like this little baby? Check this out. <laughs> this is the Scan Snap. It's a portable scanner, and I've been using it. Uh, I've been using it to uh, to basically. I've been drawing up little lessons. Ah, you'll have to freeze frame that to see what was on it. And um, and uh, been using this little scan snap, and it's brilliant. And it also uh, it automatic like you put in vi uh, business cards and stuff, and it automatically sucks it in. Exactly, very much back of the napkin. I'm bringing I'm bringing back of the napkin and 30 day challenge to Wall Street over the next few days. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope. But I've got to say, it is huge, huge being back here in in New York City because. Uh, Way back in 1995, way, way back last century, uh, I lived here and worked here for six months uh, working with Time Warner and uh, helped a uh, friend at the time uh, establish what would, uh, what would become uh, LookSmart, which was for a time one of the, one of the big search engines. Uh, so it's... Uh, I've always loved it. It's always been my favourite. It was the first place I'd ever, like when I'd be, I didn't get out of Australia till I was, what, 25. And uh, this was the first place I came. And so it's sort of, uh, it's, a, it's a bit in the blood, I've got to say. It's very, very exciting. And you just, you know, you've got to be on. You've got to be on. You're, the pace quickens when you're here. It's like, uh, it's just fantastic. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here for the next few days while we're with the challenge. And the other reason I'm so pumped up is because we've had these extraordinary meetups, uh, which have just been fantastic. Los Angeles last Thursday, um, sorry, last Wednesday, time flies. And of course we had the big Atlanta meetup uh, on Saturday and it was fantastic. And I think by the end of the night, there was probably about 40, 50 people there all gathered round. We, I'd brought Tim Tams over from, uh, from Australia. So we all uh, chowed down on Tim Tams introduced Australia's National Biscuit to, uh, to uh, the people at Atlanta. And it was uh, fantastic, it was great. Answered lots of questions. What is a Tim Tam? That is a good question, Melanie. And I've just got that answer prepared. Hang on, here we are. If you come to the 30 Day Challenge meet up that, folks, is a Tim Tam. And Tim Tams are lovely. Not too many at once. And if you're... <laughs> I was trying to explain to people in Atlanta that it's actually health food. Did you know that? Um, don't worry. And Nine Yards, you're on. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Nine Yards is on and she has organized the most awesome venue for the New York Challenge this Wednesday night. And actually, if you want to pop, pop it up in the chat stream, that'll be fantastic and we'll publish it all. Um, it's, it's superb, it's not very far from here at all, which is doubly brilliant. Um, and yeah, it's going to be fantastic. So please, if you know anybody in the uh, New York region, uh, then come on down. And uh, because it's a really, really, uh, it's a great venue. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's going to be brilliant. And then uh, I'll be heading it on um, th fr Thursday night, flying overnight to uh, Manchester. So uh, that will be that will be cool as well. So it's a that's 
sort of, that's all about me, but enough about me. What about you guys? How are you guys going? It was great, as I say, to, to see so many people who were just starting the channel. It was great. A couple of people turned up. Oh, I've got to say, hello, Rob. See, Rob, I do talk to you in the, not this is not Guru Bob Rob. This is Rob from Atlanta, because he felt that I didn't personally say hello to him, so that was a problem. So, hi, Rob. Um, so, how are you guys going? This is the this is the big question, and in fact, I've just literally shot just seconds ago. Um, I shot tomorrow's lesson, which is a huge one because it's decision day, and we've had a decision day before, but this one's the big one. Are you going to go forward in your niche or not? And this is a really uh, this is a, a big deal, but the one thing I wanted to get across today, because wait for the lesson tomorrow for the whole thing. I should uh, do a little Twitter, actually, that we're actually on. I didn't do that. Just pop that out. Do, do, do. Very good. Um, that this year, as opposed to other years, there's no wasted effort or energy. On day 26, if you do decide to move on from your niche and try something else, which is not a failure result, that's a good result, that's a good thing, but we're going to show you a number of strategies actually for you to set your blog up, keep it going, and you never know, you know, over time you may make, at least make enough money back to, you know, pay for the hosting fees and the domain and all of that sort of stuff as well. So just keep in mind that if you do decide to go for another niche on day 25 that we're going to show you on day 26 some really really cool options it's very nice to be able to say live from New York City it's like you know David Letterman isn't it uh, which is uh, which is very good hey I just got here has Ed come out yet well I'm not sure what you're referring to there <laughs> uh, thank you stitch that's 247th West 37th Street between 7th and 8th. Uh, it's on the blog. It is on the blog and the 30 Day Challenge site. Uh, so that means it's literally 10 blocks down that way. Hello, person from Manchester. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Dan Rain in the house today. Very, very cool. 10 blocks in New York City is is uh, nothing. It's great. As long as you're talking uh, up and down the island. <laughs> so, what have we got to look forward to? And I, I, I've got to tell you, you should see what Mr. Rain's been up to. <laughs> can't tell, well, I can't tell you. Yeah, let, look, think back and everything that we've done over the 30 day challenge. Think about the you know, going right back to pre-season. You know, think about Google Reader. Think about Google Search and showing you Google subscribed links, which was totally new to the internet marketing community. Think about the uh, Market Samurai. My goodness me. If you're watching this, Eugene and Brent, you're charging too little. Every meetup I get to, with I, have any, I, I have honestly not even said anything and everybody said, I just can't believe how much they're going to charge for it. They thought, oh, is that going to be a month? It's extraordinary. So that is just um, you know, feedback there, fellas. But their minds are set. They are fixed. <laughs> yeah. they, they need to... Uh, it's, it's, is, uh, it is crazy. Um, which is which is fantastic. We won't have Skype call in tonight, I'm afraid, because I'm just not set up to it. We only got into New York a few hours ago, um, and it'll be a sh relatively short show tonight. But I promise you, we'll have a super big one tomorrow night, and I'll take on all your questions. And I might even wear a suit for you. So how about that? Tomorrow I have to uh, wear a suit. So very exciting indeed. <laughs> Um, let's have a look. Uh, Mob rule. I don't think that's right. Don't, don't, don't. Let's not create a market price panic on, on. Don't do that. I shouldn't have even mentioned. I was just an anecdote. Don't worry about. It was. It's going to be cool. 
and a haircut. What's the problem with my hair? Switch over. You're obsessed by it. My hair, my hair, what left of it is absolutely fine. I might run my fingers through it instead of leave it go all natural, but uh, that's that's about it. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got here? Ah, uh, oh, see, there we are. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I appreciate that. Just yeah, there, there, there probably will come a day where that decision has to be made, but uh, but there you go. But it's a uh, <laughs> steal at any price. Thank you very much. Um, now, what else have we got to talk about? 30 day challenge auction will be launched in the next uh, 24, 48 hours. Uh, all proceeds of that will be going to Kiva. Got some killer stuff for you guys this year. Uh, I've tapped a few of my friends on the shoulders and say, hey, we want some cool stuff. And there is going to be a very, very cool um, set of auction things for this year's auction, which is just going to be absolutely fantastic. Ed, was that you in the long hair, the video you sent out yesterday? I'm not sure what that was. Uh, yes, the auction is for real money and all the proceeds of that go to Kiva, which is our charity. We're one of the largest, as a community I should say, we are one of the largest uh, providers and lenders of money to people all around the globe. And let me explain Kiva because a lot of you have joined later on and maybe not aware of what Kiva does. Thank you, uh, Barb, doing a magnificent job impersonating Shannon Cole, Master of the Links. Well done. Uh, it's a micro lending group, absolutely. And what that means is is that they go into um, communities, often mainly third world type communities, and basically break the poverty cycle. Because what tends to happen, and this was first uh, a, a gentleman by the name of Wakar Yunus, who is now a Nobel laureate. Uh, developed this system of micro lending in Bangladesh and created something called the Grameen Bank which is an extraordinary organization but anyway the thing was what was happening in Bangladesh was that people were um, creating uh, like say they were building a basket for example what would happen is the money lender would lend them the money to buy the materials for that basket but then they would charge outrageous rates of interest so effectively the person never ever ever got ahead and so people were trapped in this uh, circle of poverty and it was uh, it was yeah it was horrific and this is this is common practice all around the globe and so what uh, the experiment the Wacker Yunus wanted to uh, implement was he said well, well hang on what if because there's such small amounts of money here what if we actually get the community to decide on who to lend to at normal rates of interest and see what happens and well it worked spectacularly and he did it with a few very interesting rules which I thought uh, one is is that the money is only lent to the women of the household which is interesting and of course the only people the, the the group of people who are borrowing from the bank are also the group that decides who can lend and of course that's all women as well which they found worked far far better now interestingly the repayment rates on these loans is about 97 percent which by the way is way way higher than say any bank here in New York City for loans. It is absolutely extraordinary and of course Kiva sort of took this whole concept and then applied Web 2.0 to it so that you could donate money and then you could choose to fund projects um, and make loans to people and we have funded um, somebody might be able to pop it up uh, pop up the actual number. I've, I've got in my head around the 60s mark. Um, it may even be more than that. But anyway, we funded a whole bunch of. If somebody, if I don't know if Rob's there, he might be able to pop it up for me. Um, but it's many, many projects, 100% repayment. And actually, as a as a group, 30 Day Challenge is one of the largest Kiva. Um, loaners or lenders uh, that they have which is uh, which is fantastic
So uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a brilliant thing. And of course, the thing is, is that every dollar we put in, effectively, because it's loans, and it gets repaid back to us, it means it just grows and grows. Whereas a lot of you know other things, of course, you you give money to somebody, they spend it, and that's it. It's gone. Here, it's a loan, and of course, it funds the whole project, which is ah fantastic. Um, so just loving it. So I think it's just a, so it's really cool. So what happens is as they loan it and they uh, bring it back, I see somebody's just, uh, oh look, there's a link up there, fantastic. Um, there is a 100% re repayment rate uh, that we've had, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, the, our money just keeps growing and growing and growing because we loan it out, we help people in a business, which is, of course is great, which is really compatible with what we do at the 30 day challenge. And they get it back and we get it back, which is just wonderful. And so then it grows and grows and grows and grows. And we can loan to more and more and more and more people. Um, just really, really cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. Okay, we've got seven active loans at present and we've done literally dozens and dozens of loans over the over the course of time um, so it's uh, it's it's just absolutely brilliant love it a lot okay so here's what's going to happen for the uh, the rest of this week while I'm in New York so again tomorrow we'll have one of our big super Q and a sessions uh, I'll have Skype hooked up properly because the bandwidth seems to be fine in the hotel I'm always a bit worried about hotel bandwidth um, but that'll be that'll be up so we'll do that and we'll uh, have uh, guru Bob uh, on the uh, on the line answering questions which will be fantastic um, and then for the rest of the week we've got a, a bunch of really interesting things. got a couple of huge surprises because of course it wouldn't be the 30-day challenge uh, you know we've had market samurai we've had WordPress direct we've had all these things but we've got to save something for the end uh, which is absolutely brilliant um, so now we've got a couple of minutes before I have to go so does anybody have some burning questions that they just want to throw up on the uh, throw up on the chat window very good Ouch. Uh, the show will start at the normal time oh Gabby I know I need to call you mate and I will call you tomorrow I will call I promise you can, you can see where I was earlier on today <laughs> sorry mate I hope all that I noticed you were, uh, were you laying a new path or something there that would have been uh, that would have been tough uh, that would have been good uh, if we try, decide to change niches what happens to the domain of the old niche well you get to keep it until um, such time as you don't want to pay for it anymore and we're going to give you some reasons why you may want to keep it which is cool I'm very much hoping the great info will be going to September. The 30 day challenge finishes on August 31, but uh, we will be keeping all the information up, of course, and actually making it very easy. So if you've got somebody that you want to get to do the 30 day challenge, it's going to be open. And, and in fact, the experience for people doing the 30 day challenge uh, is going to be fantastic. So it's always going to be available. If Market Samurai and Google keywords differ in SEO, which is better to follow? It depends what, what you're looking at. Follow along with the strategy that we taught though, I think is the, the best way to go there because it could be a data center issue or whatever that is. Oh, you want to see the 60 story view? All right, we can do that. Hang on, hang on. Let's, uh, I've just got to be careful not to pull the ethernet cord out. Oh. And the couple over the road haven't uh, been. Yeah, you know, just gotta make sure I don't lose the you know, Ethernet here. How? Can you? I don't know. Has it? Are you just getting reflection, or you can see that? Now I'll just turn the light off for a sec. Yeah.
can see the reflection of Times Square there on the uh, on the building opposite. If you, I don't know if you guys can sort of see it down there, but uh, that's sort of Times Square down that way, and then of course over that way is the uh, Hudson and the Fashion District.